This is Chris Kelly with a couple of simple tips and uh, positions for proper breathing. Now one comment um, that I've got from several clients this week about practicing breathing is that you know expanding their belly um, when they're taking a deep breath is kind of backwards. It's difficult. They don't feel like they're doing it right. And really my answer to that would be um, what we want to do is use imagery to teach this exercise. All right? What I want you to think about doing is placing your hands on your stomach here and sending breath to your hands. All right? So we're breathing into the areas that are restricted. So what I'm going to try to do is just take a deep breath, fill up my hands like a bowl, and then empty that bowl several times. Often the other issue that we're dealing with is because, you know, we're in standing positions, we've kind of adopted this poor breathing habit in standing, we want to come into a weightless environment on our backs and relearn this from the beginning. All right, so what we're going to do is start on your back, place your hands on your, over your rib cage and over your stomach, and again, just try to fill the ball up. Take a deep breath, expand the ball out, release several times, take a deep breath in. Spin the ball out and release several times. Um, another technique that we can utilize with this is simply to take a stretch band here and loop it around your stomach. All right, this usually gives a little feedback of kind of, you know, gives a little pull on the stomach. And what we want to do is the same concept. We want to expand the band out, feel it stretch around the stomach, and release. Take a deep breath in. Feel it stretch and release. Really a good way to combine um, breathing which is mobility and stretching work during the day is to perform stretches while taking deep breaths. What this helps the body to do is just release the muscle tone um, of kind of the tight muscle. It tells our muscles to relax and it's a great way to combine those two things. One of my favorite drills to do so is what is called the child pose. All right? and this is kind of getting into this position here. I'm just sitting back in my heels holding in this position, just taking deep breaths. The beauty of this pose is it's stretching out all the muscles along the upper back, um, it's releasing the rib cage, and it's really helping, um, it's facilitating breathing, it's helping our lungs to expand, and it's, it's in a position that is particularly favorable to, help, to helping our, kind of our body to recognize this deep breathing pattern. So, um, supine and the child pose are two things that I would really recommend um, to improve uh, proper breathing patterns. Kind of the other issue that we deal with and that we see a lot with people is a restriction of the, um, the muscles of the spine. Okay, so um, if you find yourself sitting forward during the day, sort of overarching your back, we get a lot of people with pain in their upper back and shoulders. So that's a lot, and often that's just kind of restriction along what we call the erector spinae or the, uh, you know, the thoracic extensor muscles. So uh, an easy way to help to utilize breathing and releasing these muscles is to simply take what we call a peanut. And these are two tennis balls we've taken together here. We have these on, you know, in stock at the gym, but literally you just take two tennis balls together or two lacrosse balls. Place this under the upper back and just lay over it. I'm letting these just kind of sink into my back here. They're over, you know, my, uh, the, kind of between my spinal vertebrae here. Now, what I want to do is just take deep breaths. And just let this sink into my back. Right? I'm just thinking of letting it, it's like a telephone pole sinking into mud. Just letting it sink in. Take a few deep breaths. Move up a little bit. Take a few deep breaths move up a little bit until you get to the base of sort of the shoulder blades and literally that's a release technique for all of the upper back, for the rib cage, and really helping to facilitate this breathing um, to take a lot of tension out of the upper back and just telling all of those muscles to relax along with improving deep breathing. Uh, uh, the main thing with that is incorporate those positions, uh, recheck your breathing maybe two to three times a day and over time um, these habits kind of become the automatic pattern and you know, we eliminate uh, anxiety, back, neck, and shoulder pain, and we just get everything moving better uh, to reset some of the things that we've done to ourselves throughout the day.